Man, you're getting it all today, let me tell you. We're gonna put some weather stripping on here now. The owner got some weather stripping and she said, Joe, I'd sure like for you to put some weather stripping on that edge. Because when we close it, there's a gap here. There's about a 3 8 wide, thick gap between this and the edge of the door. So, so when she went to the store, she got some weather stripping. We get it in a little roll like this. This is like uh, 10 feet long, 10 feet. And that's kind of crazy too, 10 feet long. If you want to put weather stripping around your entire door, you'd have to get two of these, wouldn't you? Well, in any case, this is half half an inch wide. Uh, yes, half an inch wide and it's 3 eighths thick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here. And I, I looked at the door before and the door is a, about an inch and a sixteenth thick. Well, this is an inch and a quarter thick wide. Okay, so when I put this weather stripping on, I'm going to have to be careful with it because first off, is there a right and wrong way to put this? Yeah, just like everything, I guess, there's a right and wrong way. Before I do that, let me just, let me just cut off a little piece. What have you? Okay, I'm not going to go over that because this bulges out. Okay, but I am going to put a piece um, right here. Now this is only three eighths thick, so what I could do is I could split the difference on this and. Put it on. I don't want to make it flush over to this edge because lots of that is going to be beyond this door. And I, I could, you know, is there a right or wrong way? Not really. But I could line it up with the edge of the hinge, let's say, if I want. Like that. And put it on there. Okay. I can, I can trim this where I think it needs to be and then if I had to do it again I just lift it back and forth okay I can push that on there like that ah that's good okay now I'm going to continue that up the edge here in the same way okay but on this one I'm going to go I'm going to go from the top of this hinge on down. Let's see if you can see that. I want to make sure you can see this okay. Okay. Right there. And I can keep the little rubber on and I can just hold this up there. Okay. I'm going to line it up where I think it needs to be. Try to eyeball it straight. I don't want to stretch it too much. This piece, you can see the, tr the, the facing is already coming off, which is fine, but I want to push that on there, where I think. And if I wanted to, I could, I could adjust it, you know, after I get it on. Okay, I'm going to line it up right there. I'm going to cut that off. The ten snips come in handy once again. Once again. Okay. Pull the top of that off and put that on there like that. Okay. I'm liking that. Okay, if you think it's off a little bit, you can kind of pull it where it needs to be. Reposition it and put it back on. Huh? There. Let's just try that section first. 
And I think that weather stripping is going to do it. I don't think we need anything thinner than that. Let's just see. I want you to see what I see. That's fine. How do you like that? You like that gap? No bugs through there by Joe. Now we're going to do the same thing up here. bit long. Don't try to guess too close because if you get it too short you, you really can't extend it then can you? I don't like to I don't like to stretch it too much because then it has a, a tendency to not want to stick very well. Okay I can eyeball that. Trim that off. Hold that up there. That looks fine. I can pull this off. I can look at that. Let's see if I need to to slightly adjust it. Okay. There. Give it a good press. You might have to come back to this in a few minutes just to look at it to see, make sure it hasn't started coming off. You know? It shouldn't though. Let's close this door. Let's see what we got. I'm liking that. See there? Glad we got that weather stripping on there. Now, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What can we do with a little bit more of this weather stripping? Ah, yes. Do you remember this? Okay, I've got just a little scrap piece and I can put it right there. Let's just see what that does. Let's see here. Okay. Where's my key at? I see there's still, there's still a little slop. Might have to put um, another little bit on there, you know. But if you put two layers, if you put two layers of this on top of each other, eventually it's going to come off. So you know, you could go back to the store. This was three eighths thick. You could get some half inch, or maybe, maybe even maybe they even have five eighths thick, and you can put it a little piece on here, you know. But for the sake of argument, I've got another small little piece. Let's just put it on top of that. Just for kicks. And see what happens. See that? That took it up, didn't it? Now, I've got to get my key for the deadbolt. First, want to lock this. See there? That still locks. That's mighty snug. I like that. There you go. Just by adding a little weather stripping, and you could get some little um, nylon or some little plastic bumpers. You seen those at the store and there's different thicknesses and they're round or square. You could put one there and one there, let's say, and you can get different sizes. Now see this comes out to uh, three eighths and three eighths is three quarters. Okay, it's supposed to be, but it measures five eighths because it's been depressed and stuff. Okay, so you could get five eighths thick or half inch bumpers, Three quarter inch bumpers, five eighths bumpers, whatever. Uh, trim it down, shave it down with your with your handy dandy little rasp, 
you know, if you had some rubber deals and if they were just a hair high, you can kind of thin that out. And then you could try it again. If that was something that really bothered you, let's say, okay? There. There you go. Now, if you're wondering, well, does that give you much of a gap here? Yeah, it gives you a slight gap there. So if you wanted, you could get more weather stripping. You see, I don't think I have enough weather stripping because there was only 10 feet in there and the door is almost seven feet, so I got three feet left. So I could measure that a little bit there. That's a half an inch, okay? And that weather stripping was a half an inch and it was three eighths thick. So see, I could get a, I could get another short roll of this and I could put it right there. What about that? And then you can close the door on that. Okay. Then you would know you wouldn't have any, you wouldn't have any gap if you were concerned about bugs, the creepy crawlers uh, going through there. Um, you know, mosquito, earwigs, just any little thing like that. You could put some weather stripping there as well. That's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.